NSA struts are used in conjunction with MGF whaler frames when it is not suitable to safely batter back the trench ends to ground level. They are designed to be quickly and easily installed by hand by up to two operatives. They enable sheets to be installed up against them, creating three or four sided excavations. MGF can supply two NSAFE strut systems, light duty NSAFE struts and heavy duty NSAFE struts. Light duty NSAFE is suitable for trench widths of between 0.7 meters and 2 meters, while the heavy duty NSAFE struts are suitable for trench widths from 1.65 meters up to 3.37 meters. Both ranges are telescopic and include one outer section and a range of inner sections. They can be assembled and installed by hand with the max assembled weight of the light duty system being 25 kilograms and 50 kilograms for the heavy duty system. Assembly of the NSA struts commences by storing the components neatly on timber skids. Prior to use, inspect all the equipment. The inner section should be sleeved within the outer section to just under the required width and then connected together using a pin and R clip. Take care to avoid finger trap hazards. Ensure that all relevant PPE is worn during this assembly. Prior to installing the NSAFE struts, the Whaler frame should be fully assembled. Please refer to MGF Whaler Safe System of Work guidance. Once the Whaler frame is assembled and roughly pumped out to the required width, then the NSAFE struts can be installed within the Whaler frame. Simply pin one end of the NSAFE strut into the Whaler and secure using an R clip. Ensure it is able to bear evenly on the bearing detail on the Whaler rails. The central pin must now be removed to secure the other end of the NSA strut within the whaler. Ensure the overlap between the inner and outer is greater than 150mm. Repeat this, if required, at the other end of the whaler frame. Ensure the remaining extension on the hydraulics is taken into consideration with the minimum overlap. Installation normally commences by excavating to a maximum of 1m below ground level. A whaler frame should now be lowered into the excavation using a four-leg chain. It is recommended to first perform a trial lift. Four corner sheets should now be pitched using the frame as a guide. Sheets are pitched using an MGF quick release shackle and are pushed gently into the trench using the excavator boom. Sufficient tow must be provided to ensure sheets cannot slip or slide. The second whaler frame can now be lowered into the excavation on top of the other frame, so it is at the required level. Restraining chains can now be connected between the sheets and the upper whaler frame prior to pumping out the top frame struts to fully preload the sheets against the ground. The remaining sheets can now be pitched and driven as far as possible. An MGF driving cap should be used to drive the sheets. This will protect the sheet ends from damage. Care must be taken not to buckle the sheets. Alternatively, MGF drive safe an excavator mounted driving cap can be used. It may be preferred to leave out some of the sheets to enable a safe digging window for the excavator boom. In this case, the open face will require battering back until the excavating has progressed so that the remaining trench sheets can be installed to a suitable depth and not restrict the excavator. Alternatively, shorter sheets can first be installed before being swapped for longer sheets as the excavating progresses. Excavating can now commence beneath the level of the lower frame to the required level of the next frame. All sheets must be driven ahead of the dig level as work proceeds and the lower frame dropped as the excavation works progress. Once a suitable formation level has been achieved, the remaining sheets can now be installed by carefully lowering vertically up against the end safe struts and ensuring a sufficient tow is provided. Operatives must ensure that this is done from a position of safety. Whilst ensuring that the sheets are stable and cannot slip, slide or rotate, carefully backfill against the outside faces to fully secure them against the struts. It is recommended that the backfill extends to a minimum of half the depth of the trench. Once the lower frame is at the correct level, then restraining chains can be attached between the two frames. The bottom frame can now be pumped out to preload the sheets against the ground. Excavation can continue until formation level is reached, making sure the sheets are driven ahead of the dig level. Edge protection and a safe means of access should now be installed prior to a final inspection.